Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be giving you my review, first impressions of the two new launches and collection of three from Maison Francis Kirk de Jeanne, which are being promoted everywhere this summer. I'm gonna be taking you through what they smell like, the difference between the three and which is my favorite. If you're new here, then hi, welcome. We are all about perfume, so check out my hundreds and hundreds of other perfume reviews. I have done plenty on niche perfumes as well as designer mainstream perfumes. And if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. I really appreciate it. And as always, I'll leave down below in the description box links to where you can buy all these perfumes I talk about, all three, in the UK, Europe, and USA. Cool, so Maison Francis Kirk de Jeanne is a French Parisian fragrance house. And Francis um, has many perfumes. I think he also is the perfumer behind some designer fragrances as well, but he has this own range for himself and they tend to be sold in quite high-end stores. I tried these in Harrods here in London, so pretty much the highest end store in London. Um, they're not sold, you know, everywhere, but of course they're widely available online. I'm probably best known for their Baccarat Rouge, which is quite a heavy wintry perfume. But I noticed that all of a sudden we had these three yellow, blue and white perfumes that were being advertised like for summertime. I was seeing them everywhere so I went into Harrods to try them. I didn't purchase all three of them because they're over £100 each. I think they're about £140. So to buy all three would be incredibly expensive. This is why I have started my Patreon account um, to help for you guys to help support me to purchase more of these expensive perfumes which I can't afford myself so that I can review them. Cool, so even though the advert sort of presents this yellow, blue and transparent fragrances as like a new release, actually the transparent one, it has been out for a few years. It's only the blue and the yellow that are new releases. I think all three are unisex. So let's start off with the transparent one, which is called Aqua Universales Cologne Fort. Um, I have it here on a card from Harrods. Now, I thought because these were in quite light colored bottles and because it said cologne, that they were gonna be really light and fade very quickly. Actually, what I found is that these lasted amazingly well, particularly this transparent Aqua Universale one. It's essentially a white mask. It's very, very unisex. I'd say maybe slightly more towards the male than the female, but definitely, you know, in the middle. A woman could definitely wear this and it wouldn't be inappropriate. It's described as bergamot from Calabria and the sweetness of white musk. A Accord are intertwined with an effervescent surge of diaphanous white florals such as mock orange and sweet pea. It embodies the joy of whiteness, radiance, the purity of a breath of fresh enveloping air. I do think it definitely has a very fresh, fresh air by the seaside vibe to it. It's definitely like a almost an oceanic type perfume. It feels very clean. I can imagine this being like a clean just got out of the shower or fresh sheets, fresh cotton, that type of smell. But then it has this muskiness underneath and some floral notes, which give it a lot of body. And you know, even waving this card around here, I can really smell it. It has some jasmine in and some woody notes. The woodiness for me is like a very fresh woody, like a, like a wood that's washed up on the beach or something. I do think this is a very good quality perfume and you'd hope so for the price, right? Um, really, really fresh, but long lasting. And there's not many of these fresh oceanic perfumes, which actually last really long. Um, literally it stayed on my skin all day, um, stayed on my clothes, very impressed with this transparent one. And I think this would be good for a man who wants something fresh or for a woman that wants something like a woody fresh. So moving on to the blue one called Aqua Celestia. I thought that this was perhaps gonna be my favorite because it has a black currant note in it, but actually the black currant isn't that strong. What I get more is the bergamot and a woody, almost aromatic sense here. So it's described as Bergamot, known for its fruity edge and Earl Grain tea, Citrus Bergamia is a widely used in perfumery, sparkling top notes from Southern Italy. It says the Bergamot becomes tinged with the fruity notes of blackcurrant mimosa, 
and jasmine. So I get the mimosa, I get the jasmine. I don't get that much black currant maybe at first, but it became, the jasmine really was coming through and it does definitely remind me of the transparent colored one but in terms of lasting power I found that the transparent one the universal one lasted better than this blue one so I was surprised and I guess a little disappointed because I thought the blue one was going to be my favorite so I got all excited for it so it's not sweet it's not sweet fruity as you would expect from something that has blackcurrant listed as a main note it is more like that earl grey tea soft aromatic definitely much softer than the universal transparent one and i'd say perhaps still super unisex but perhaps because it's lighter um, perhaps it will be more for a woman um because the other one is like so strong um that woodiness followed you around all day from the universal one and then we then have the yellow one aqua vitae and this one comes in a really pretty yellow bottle. It really is like the sunshine. It was the first one I sprayed, first one I picked up. So this one has some orangey notes in it. It has mandarin from Italy, which I thought really did make this really fresh, really fruity. I think this one is my favorite from the three and it's the most feminine of the three. Again, it has that same bergamot Earl Grey tea note in it as the other three. So the three do very much work together. They're very complementary, and they are relatively similar. But this yellow one is just a bit more sunnier, has um, kind of like a solar note in, and it's a little bit more floral. It's definitely more girly. It's described as a pampering eau de parfum whose trail is saturated with sun and sensual musks. It has that sandalwood in but it really has those solar notes in, which are the a synthetic creation that makes you feel the sense of like the warmth of the sun on your skin. Um, so this for me is the most like summertime vacation perfume of the three. And because I love Mandarin, this one was my favorite, but still pretty similar to the other two. So I think in terms of which is best, I think the original Aqua Universal is the best fragrance. It's the strongest, it's the longest lasting. But my personal favorite was the Aqua Vitae, the yellow one, because it had that mandarin in. But I do think all three are very good quality fragrances, um, really nicely designed, really unique smells that I hadn't really smelt before. So I think they are a successful range. And I guess that's why they're so expensive. You're paying for what you get. Cool, so let me know guys, have you tried these yet? Which is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. If you do want more videos on this house, then please do subscribe to my Patreon and I'm kind of trying to crowd front a way for me to buy these expensive perfumes so I can do videos on there. So I'll leave that link down below. But that's it guys, so thanks so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video, bye.